Man is in jail accused of shooting and killing his father inside their home. It happened this morning off Flaming Candle and Candleview Drive. Channel 2's Kathy Hernandez is in North Harris County. And Kathy, deputies say the son has a history of violence. Well, deputies and people who knew him say he had a history of drugs and violence. They never thought he would do something like this and be accused of killing the person who was helping him. A disturbing scene in North Harris County. Deputies say a 22 year old son shot his 58 year old father once in the head, killing him. There was holes in the walls where chairs were thrown and stuck through wood and stuff. It was, you know, the kid, the kid was pretty violent. This man is a contractor and had been working inside the home on Flaming Candle near Candleview. It's the same place of the alleged murder. There was never any indication he was going to shoot his father. Investigators say the father and son got into an argument early Tuesday morning. The son shot him and he took off. Uh, the suspect uh, took a vehicle from the home. Uh, left and drove into the Conroe area somewhere uh, and wrecked the vehicle. They say his girlfriend eventually brought him back to the home. With handcuffs around his wrist, paramedics loaded him into an ambulance with an injury to his foot. They believe he may have pinned his father down before shooting him in the head. Deputies say the son had a troubled past. He, he was pretty open about the things he had done. But it was basically violence and drugs. Travis Goldsmith says the son would carry a gun around with him and about a week ago bought ammunition. He showed it to me empty and then the next day he had, had bullets for the clip because he ordered them offline and it came in the mail. Goldsmith says a couple days later the son went away to a nine month church camp and Goldsmith thought he was getting his life on track. And I thought well maybe he's growing out of it and becoming an adult but evidently not. And investigators believe that son was under the influence of alcohol, drugs, and some kind of medication. Reporting live in North Harris County, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC, Channel 2 News.